In the original study that we did here, we are following individuals for up to 26 months after the second vaccine to look at two things, sustained uh, immunologic response, protect protection, and secondly, for the emergence of any late occurring side effects. And so far, we haven't seen any of the latter. So we'll know more about that over time. So far, 90% of them at six months have sustained very robust immune responses. And we did the original Pfizer vaccine trial here, one of 120 sites around the world. Now we're only one of 40 in the world that is testing a booster of the original vaccine to see whether or not we can induce a even higher immune response. Uh, and starting in uh, folks who have not received a uh, vaccine to date, a new variant uh, vaccine or new generation vaccine, if you will, that will also cover the South African variant. And the whole question about whether we're gonna need boosters in the future uh, will be you know, informed by studies like this as we move forward. But if you look at other uh, vaccines for infectious diseases, measles being one example, you remember perhaps what happened in 2019 where we had, uh, because of vaccine hesitancy again, uh, we had uh, large outbreaks of this. And on the basis of measured uh, immune responses over time, we d do recommend additional doses or boosters of measles. So I would not be surprised at all that we are going to uh, do this for a long time thereafter.